what's going on you guys it is three o'clock in the morning way early in the morning and um, getting ready to roll here in a couple to Winnemaka and Elko and back so a little local delivery about 600 miles a day not too bad um, my little energy drink, strawberry kiwi, really good. Water, just mix it with powder. So, um, am I overreacting to all this? What's your thoughts on this? Let me know. So, I was hired on to be a line haul driver. Mm. So much better than Red Bull. I had a Red Bull yesterday, and I don't like it no more. I don't like them. I keep having them once in a while, and I don't like it. So, they basically hired me to be a line haul driver going to California and back. And my first load out, they got me to Washington three times. Sunday to Monday. 6, 12, 18. Yeah, like three times. So it went from Washington, Reno to Washington, Washington back, wa Reno back to Washington, Washington back. So it was like two two trips. Um, yeah, two trips, 2,800 miles. Now they got me on this run, going from Reno to Elko and back, which I ain't complaining. Yeah, I'm home just about every day. I'm in the yard. I was too tired to go back home. But they wanted me to go to Dallas, Texas, if I had my hazmat. Um, so, kind of, you know, it doesn't sound local to me. And here's the one thing I've learned in trucking in my nine years, almost coming on nine years of driving, is you can't trust anyone in trucking. It's very hard to trust people in trucking. And, um,. They literally told me I would be home every night for supper, going over the hill and back. Line home. Like, cool. Like, awesome. I don't even mind Washington once in a while. Don't even mind doing this once in a while. But when it becomes an everyday issue, we're going to have an issue then. And I got my tanker endorsement. I get off seasons coming, whatnot. You know it's slower during that time I get it and um, still have not trained on that either so I'm trying to get my doubles triples this month and then I'm gonna try I'm gonna stick it out until the new year until the new year see how it goes but um, like am I overreacting on this when I was hired to do one thing and then I get lied on and now I'm doing more than what I was told. Um, I get the whole small company, you gotta cover what is miscovered, but then at the same time it's like, you know, you start sending a driver somewhere else when you're supposed to be home all the night, all the time that is where you start losing drivers that is where when drivers are like all right i'm gonna go elsewhere um i called around i called around so many places in reno a lot of places are hiring for water tank drivers home every day yeah i might take a little pay cut because it's off season but i'm home every day i don't leave the state um that's what I'm trying to get to is home every day, don't leave the state, still make $25 to $30 an hour, would love $30 an hour, trying to get up to that $30 an hour with my endorsements and still make $1,300 a week So and have the weekends off because um, it was beautiful. It was nice being home for the three weeks that I was home and... I only worked eight, nine hours a day at 14 hours off. So I worked from six, seven in the morning, got off at about three, four o'clock, 
went home, went back, six o'clock in the morning, perfect. And now I'm doing all these Washington back, Alco and back, covering for someone. And I'm, I'm running 14 hours a day. I'm like fucking tired as fuck by the time I'm done. I'm like burning myself out, burnout. And um, as a driver, experienced driver, knows when burnout happens and that's what's happening to me is the burnout right off the bat because every day it's 14 hours and um, even though I'm doing some power only stuff it's still a lot which you know I don't mind it's not too bad but when you do the math and you're doing 80 hours a week with you know 70 hours plus off duty going in getting a shower eating some food by the time you go to bed you're about 16 hours in and uh you're about 80 hours a week and you're like 20 bucks an hour for 80 hours a week for you know the 16 to 1700 bucks that you're making gross out here so um yeah like let me know like am i overreacting to all this like you know, is it just me? Um, like, I don't know. I like the truck. I like the Peterbilt. It's, it's a awesome. I get the looks all the time. I get the uh, air horn pump all the time. I get all that kind of stuff, you know. It's definitely cool, but the one thing, for me at least, one, I don't like being lied to. Two, home time. Three is paycheck. I haven't messed my paycheck up. I felt like I've been a little bit lied to. And home time is kind of being iffy at the moment. Um, or I may end up just sticking this up for three to six months, save up enough money. And um, I might go a different career, honestly. I've been doing this nine years almost coming on now. First of the year. Uh, January slash February be nine years coming up. So five more months be nine years of CDL. And um, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it all. And I was just thinking, I'm like, there's so many other careers that I can go into that would pay me the same amount of money and I'm home every night. Um, I'm not even looking to mining. I'm looking to mines, stuff like that. They pay 40, 50 bucks an hour. If I'm going to bust my ass off out here, I'm going to bust my ass off and make really good fucking money. So, I'm always trying to go up and pay, not down. Um, so, let me know what your thoughts are. Thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are. Am I overreacting? Am I 100% able to do this? Am I... Is it me? Is it them? You know? But like I said give them the benefit of the doubt, and within that time period, things don't change, we can have a little chat, and if they send me back to like Washington or somewhere, or like somewhere away from home, that's what, like, Dallas or whatever, we're going to have a chat Monday, um, because Line Hall is supposed to be California back, home for supper, weekends off so y'all be safe I gotta go pick my load up it's probably here by now I'm hoping it's here by now it's been here every single day so that's kind of nice I just pick up and go uh, bobtail over pick up and go and off to Winnemuck and I'll go and back so hopefully I should be back home I'm hoping about 3 o'clock today here in the yard and then Get out of the truck, so y'all be safe.